It's the middle of the night and the sky is glowing like mad radioactive red. And if you squint and if you look up high enough, you could see me. My name is Sergio Moritz Ang. I am an actor, a theater artist, and a graduate student. I'm in Chapel Hill for graduate school at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. Um, I've been in a New Yorker for about 20 years now, and um, this is my first time going ever to Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Saturday nights look a little bit more laid back unless there's something going on for Sunday, usually rehearsal or a workshop and we'll do some prep work for that. Otherwise, it's a lot of cooking or frozen pizza if I get lazy and usually Netflix to catch up on TV that I've missed. Being a theater artist, we rely so much on, on the in-person human contact um, and all of a sudden this pandemic hit and we're denied of all of that. One thing about theater artists is that we're, we're very resilient and so we make something out of nothing. We make everything out of nothing. And so that's one thing that COVID has done is that, you know, we turn our bedrooms into uh, a black box theater. We turn our closets into a, a magical space where we can create work and be imaginative. I have seen two such sights, by sea and by land. But I am not to say it is the sea, for it is now the sky. Betwixt the firmament and it, you cannot thrust a Bodkin's point. I was born and raised in the Philippines, and I came to the States with my family when I was about 11 years old. I feel like I'm an amalgamation of all these cultures coming together. I feel like that's what growing up in the United States is like, and um, I feel like that's what really makes me unique, and all the uh, intersectionalities coming together and meeting and gelling well together. I feel like growing up as an undocumented immigrant has really defined the person who I've become, and because we need to be patient and resilient and we needed to have hope you know more than anything in that life was gonna get better for us i feel like daca or deferred action for childhood arrivals really um, was a turning point and so when that finally um, came around it was a rush of excitement but also like oh like like things can happen and that like we can pursue the dream that we really wanted for ourselves, not just their family, but what we had hoped for to be and become. Being an artist of color in this industry is crucial at this point because we are the voices now and the future of American theater. And I, I love us, I'm always advocating for us, you know, not just in the people that I work with, but I also the pieces that I choose um, when I'm auditioning. Um, uh, how can I put all of myself into my work and that includes all of my queerness, all of my New York City-ness, all of my um, uh, immigrant-ness. Whatever that thing that makes me special is, is always at the forefront of my work and that's why it's so important. PBS American Portrait is a platform where people can go to in order to share their experiences. I took a risk when? When I was 18 and joined the Marine Corps. And it's been an amazing journey ever since. This project can help bring us together to understand what it really means to be an American. So join in. Go to pbs.org slash American Portrait. Join us and be a part of history.